Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Okami HD. In the previous episode, we collected the last of the non-Devil Gate stray beads. And we still have a couple of things that we need to do. No gold dust, oh well. Still have a couple of things we need to do before we can start taking on the Devil Trial Gates. Rest assured, we will be taking on the first of the gates today. But, there are still a couple of things that we need to do. For starters, we need to find the last of the Solar Fragments, and guess where one of them is? Inner Yosh Pet. Remember that dead end that I decided to skip over because we were pretty much out of time when it came to, uh... Now let go of the sheep, I want you to dig up the clover. Because we were pretty much out of time? Well, guess what? That's where one of the Sun Fragments are. Now, let's see. One of them is meant to be... Ah, down here. Specifically, I believe, in this treasure chest. And I will see you guys in Inner Yosh Pet, but before I do that, it's time to get the final upgrade for Ami. The last of the things that we need praise for. And that gets us the achievement, Grab a Life by the Leash. Alright, see you guys at that dead end in Inner Yosh Pet. Okay then, all the way at the dead end in Inner Yosh Pet, the third dead end, we get the final Sun, fr <clears throat> sun Fragment. And with that, our health has reached its maximum. Okay, now there is one final thing to take care of before we head out to the Devil Trial Gates. I'll try to make it as quick as possible. I'll see you guys back in Kamui. Okay, here outside of a hut that apparently belongs to Wally, no monsters allowed. Yeah, does this guy really think a sign's gonna keep monsters out? We are taking on the last of the bounty, which, in all honesty, is probably something I should have taken care of a long time ago, but I forgot about it completely. Oh, what have I done? If this carries on, Kamui will be ruined. I have to do something to stop them. But I'm no match for those assassin monsters. Oh, what am I going to do? Hello, Wolfie. What are you doing out in the blizzard? I envy you. You must have an you must have such an easy, carefree life. What I wouldn't give to be like you. I'm doomed to spend my days here, living in fear of those monsters. What's eating you, young man? You might feel better if you just talk about it. Oh, you have a ponkle with you. A white wolf and a ponkle? That's like the old legend. This must be the will of the gods. It must have told you to come here and help me. With what? Nah, you got it all wrong, young man. I'm not. I find that whole young man thing a little patronizing. I've got a proper name, you know. I'm called Wally. Distressed youngster, Wally. Listen to my tale, messenger of the gods. It all started just over a year ago. I was living in Wepkir, the village up in the mountains. It's home to Kutone, the divine sword that protects Kamui. Because the village elder always treated it with so much respect, I couldn't help feeling curious, so one day I touched it. I only touched it a tiny, tiny little bit, honest. Ever since then, I seemed to be cursed with bad luck. My sandals broke, I was rejected by the girl I liked. I banged my toe countless times, and an icicle fell on my head. How are you still alive after that? And on top of that, this awful blizzard came along. No, those assassin monsters are out in the wild trying to kill me. I didn't want to cause more trouble, so I came to live here. Wow, I can't believe you survived this long all by yourself. So what did those assassin monsters do to you? Well, it's very strange. You see, they're always staring at me from way off in the distance. I know what they're up to. They're trying to break me emotionally. Then they'll come in for the kill. You have to help me, Wolfie. You have to get rid of them. See? Here is a list with their names. Yeah, it's a bunch of igloos. Boy, you sure are a thorough young man. I think the gods placed some kind of mark on the assassin monsters. You'll definitely know when you see one. They're very wary, though. They only come out at night. Please, get rid of them for me so I can sleep peacefully again. Sure, as long as I get a reward of gold dust out of this, I don't care. 
All right, then, guys, like I do with all the other bounties, I'm going to set it tonight, and I'm going to skip ahead to the location of each scroll that contains the uh, monsters. And given that that scroll wasn't there earlier, I'm willing to bet that's one of them. Yep. All right, well, that was fast. Creeping Igloo appeared. Hey, that monster's got an exercising arrow stuck in it, too. That means somebody really wanted to get rid of the monster. Don't let it get away, even though it actually can't. Well, that's him taken care of. No, wait, it was Gale Storm that was there. Namahage's weakness. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I don't really need them at this point. And, as usual, burn him up. And there we go. Creeping Igloo defeated. Chase my tail, chase my tail, chase my tail. Alright, that's one down. That was one of those assassin monsters from the Record of Penance. We just happened to find it. Boy, you never know what you'll find next. You know that Record of Penance you have? Well, you can cross off the monster you've taken care of. Monster you just finished off, one list, yes, yes, strike off. I did cross it off. Seriously. There we go. That's one less monster. At this rate, it won't be long before you can cross them all off. Oh, out. Whenever you have time, you should finish off the assassin monsters. Like, right now? I'm sure it'll put that young man's mind at ease. Alright, see you guys at the next monster. Who showed up rather quickly? Snowy Stigma. Alright, come on. Let's take care of your friend first so he's not bothering me. And at the same time, set you on fire as well. Huh. Nice. Now, if it would let me use it... There we go. And down you go. Okay, Snowy Stigma's down. Yes, yes, another one down. Alright, see you at the next one. We got another one, Cold Remorse, and unfortunately I have to fight him on ice. Well, thankfully he's only got Sign Namahage with him. So, not going to be too much of a problem, but don't expect me to get a good score on, on time, just because of this. It would stop hopping around. There we go. Okay, then. That's one more down, two more to go. I'm getting through this actually rather quickly. Of course, then again, Kamui isn't as big an area as, say, Ryushima or Shinshu or Taka Pass. Ah, skipping over a stalking blizzard, huh? No, oh well. Alright, see you guys at the next one. Okay, finally found another one of them. Frozen Penitence. And unfortunately, he's also out on the ice, <clears throat> as you saw from the map. But shouldn't be any more difficult to take out than his brethren. Yeah. 
And down he goes. Frozen Penitence defeated. Ugh, I gotta tell you, that one took me a while to find. And there's still one more to take care of. Stalking Blizzard. I don't know if he's like any stalker I've heard of. Gonna be good at hiding. From me. Alright, see you guys when I find him. Huh. What do you know? It was the one right outside Yoshpet entrance. Could've sworn that was one we'd already seen regularly. But what do I know? Alright, let's finish this guy off and then get our reward and move on to the Devil Trial Gates. Now, if you've been keeping track, we are actually short to... Oop, sniff him out. That means that's the last of the monsters taken care of. If you've been paying attention, you realize that even with this, we are still two gold dust short. Well, there is one more shop we can buy them from, but it's beyond the point of no return. Well, what do you know? You've taken care of all the names in the Record of Penance. I bet that young man's going to be happy to hear this. Let's go give him the news right away, Ami. Yes, let's. And while we're on the way, here's a treasure chest that I missed. With a golden peach. Nice. Okay, then if I recall correctly, his house should be right around there. How's it going with those assassin monsters, Wolfie? Wow! All of their names have been crossed out. You did it, Wolfie! You finally did it! Now I can go to the toilet again without looking over my shoulder. And I don't have to crawl about on the ground when I go outside. That's a little more information than I needed to know. I suppose so. Thanks so much, Wolfie. I don't have much to give you as a reward. But you can keep this as a token of our friendship. Yep, gold dust. It was terrible for me to put Kamui in danger like that. And I had to rely on you to fix the mess I made. I'll become strong enough to fight my own battles from now on. Yeah, you do that. Anyways, with that, I think I'm gonna use this gold dust to power up the Thunder Edge. For reasons I will explain once we get to Ryoshima Coast. See you there. Well, here we are in Ryoshima Coast. Now, the reason I powered up the Thunder Edge is because <clears throat> for each of the Devil Trial Gates, I'm going to be using a different instrument. In this case, I'm going to be using the sword because, well, we came to Ryoshima Sword with the Ryoshima Coast with a sword on our back. And nothing more than a dream of doing good and finding all the Celestial Brush techniques. So I figure it only fair that we take care of this Devil Trial Gate with the Thunder Edge, our sword. Now, like I said before, there are ten gates that you need to get through in a row. If you leave, the entire thing resets. So, trust me, make sure you are prepared for doing this. Now then, first up, the first of the trials will see us facing off against ten green imps and six reddits. Not all at the same time. Now, thankfully, they shouldn't be too difficult as long as you remember to charge up your shots. Now, granted, you're not going to face them all at the same time because I'm not sure the game can handle that much. If you like, you can try to get Demon Fangs, but, nah, kind of a waste of time at this point. Now, this first Devil Trial Gate isn't going to be too difficult. As a matter of fact, you're just going to be facing off against enemies from the first act. Might be a couple of other challenging ones, but I wouldn't be too worried about it. Alright, that's one gate down. If we walk away, it'll reappear, and we go through a second time, 
This time we'll be facing off against seven red imps and a whole bunch of yellow imps. Just three, so I wouldn't worry too much. Just take out the yellow imps you would any other. Ooh, get some demon fangs out of it for my perfect timing. Oh no, you're not escaping me. Yeah, they're not any more powerful than you, the originals that you faced, unlike the bounty ones. So, shouldn't have too much to worry about. Okay, on to the third trial. We have three dead fish and eight red ants. And you know how much I hate the dead fish. Just make sure you charge up your attacks if you're using the Thunder Blade. Okay, that's it. I'm just going to slash him down. Oof, there goes my perfect. Yeah, that's the thing about the Thunder Blades. You're not going to have too many... Ah. Too many, uh, Godhood levels. So you might want to try using some of your uh, godly charms to take care of that. That is, if you care about getting maximum level, or maximum uh, yen out of this. Which, if you didn't do as I do in order to get buy, in order to be able to buy up the tundra beads, might not be a bad idea. Anyways, on to the fourth. Where we'll be facing three butt ogres and nine red imps. Man, this thing loves its red imps. Let's see if I can't bloom them both at once. I can. Come on. You can see how this can get pretty chaotic as you're going. But, like I said, shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Up next, we have... Three blue imps and eight red imps. Just make sure to remember to use your Gale Storm to bring the blue imps down, should it be necessary. And you shouldn't have any problems with this. Now, I know what some of you are probably thinking. It's like, oh, this is so easy. Why didn't you just do this earlier? Well, I didn't have the Thunder Edge. Because, trust me, this may seem easy, and it pretty much is because it's using Act 1 enemies. But it really isn't. Especially once you get to the second and on. Let's see, next one we got three Crow Tengus. I haven't seen these guys in a long time. And three dead fish. You know, I'm just gonna power slash the fish. Same as usual, just slap. That's how power slash the Protengu down, attack it, then power slash it again. So that you can hit it. Where'd that one dead fish go? Ah, there he is. That is trial number six taken down. We're actually making fairly good time on this. Better than I would have thought. Oh well, on to the next trial, which is six blue imps and three chimeras. Just 
blow the wind to stun those guys for a while. Which, unfortunately, I didn't get enough damage in on this guy. But it shouldn't matter. One last Chimera. Come on. Quit hopping around. You're not a rabbit. You're a Chimera. Well, then again, given the nature of the Chimeras, that could very well be a real possibility. Hey. This is a no-fly zone, pal. Get down from there. Okay, then next up we have three black imps and the red imps make a return. They've actually been absent for a while. Come on, light him up and I'll knock him down. Okay then, next up we have three fire eyes and three ice mouths. For this one, I'd recommend making use of your reflector, especially when they start spinning around the screen like this. There we go. Come on. These guys are going to be somewhat tougher than their, uh, than the rest, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hehe. <laughs> Okay, now it's time to make use of my brush strokes for this. Ow. Okay, that one didn't go too well, but meh. Could have also gone a heck of a lot worse. Okay, come on. Let's get out of here so we can bring in the last one. The very last trial of this Devil Gate is against ten Black Imps. Yeah, when they're all firing at once, it can be a bit of a challenge. But just thin out their numbers and it should reduce the challenge somewhat. Okay, bring on the next group. Okay, at this point I'm just going to button mash to stun rock him. Ooh. Wow, for the first time, well, first time in an exceedingly long time, I'm going to have to use some healing items. Oh well, definitely not going to get a good score on damage from this one. But I don't really need the cash anyways, so hey. Alright, the last of them, hopefully, unless I've miscounted, which knowing me is very likely. Yes, with that we obtain a golden peach, and... Come on. Come on. A chest which contains... Stray Bead number 44. 
And if I look at the stray beads, yes, just making sure, 65 and 79 are the only ones left. And we know that they're both Devil Trial Gates. Now, I do have about seven and a half minutes left, but I'm not going to be starting the next Devil Trial Gate. I will be making my way over there and telling you what I'm going to be using, but that's about it. Mainly because, yes, that seemed easy, but those were Act 1 enemies. They are not a challenge, especially with endgame gear. Speaking of which, the gear I'm going to be using for our main is the Tundra Beads. After all, the beads were a weapon that carried us through pretty much the entirety of Act 2 after we got the, uh, what was it, the Resurrection Beads? No, no, it was the Exorcism Beads. Seriously, we pretty much got no weapon until we defeated Ninetales. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be using for the Devil Trial Gate in northern Ryoshima Coast. And funnily enough, that was actually the Trial Gate where I discovered that you can't leave in the middle of it. Because I pretty much run out of resources and was relying on the resurrections I was getting from the Astral Pouch and the Golden Peaches to get me through. I was like, no, what? I gotta go to a shop, I gotta buy up a bunch of large holy bones. And when I came back, ugh, did not... Well, was not happy to find that it had reset, because I was pretty much on the very last one. Well, second to last one. One of the two. I can't remember, it's been years since I did that playthrough. But like I said, I'm not going to be starting that today because, well, it's going to take me a lot more time than this one did. So I'm going to end this episode off early for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit the straw poll link, which the last chance you have will be in the next episode, before I have to start doing audio testing for my next series, which, unless the votes change, is looking like it's going to be... Uh, Wasteland 2. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications for when I upload. Don't know if I've already said that. Probably did. Oh well. And please leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.